Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to lesson number 11 of Mukhtasar al Quduri. Right, let's explain the words. So, Sanna, okay, this has the meaning of Sunnah and it's a past tense from the from the pattern Sanna Yasunnu. Sanna Yasunnu, it means to make a practice, to make a practice, to make Sunnah. Uh, Rasul, it means messenger. Okay, messenger. Allah is Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we've done this before. Ghusl is bathing, the dhamma, the jum'ah, jum'ah is Friday. In the Arabic language, the name for Friday is jum'ah. Eidain, this is dual of Eid. Okay, dual of Eid, which means uh, the, 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 the Muslim celebration, which occurs, and that's twice a year, Eid. Ihram is a... Uh, state that a person goes into the sanctified state that a person goes into when they're performing the hajj right and um you know it's called the ihram and you usually have it where you uh, you know for men they wear certain two pieces of cloth and for women it's different that's something that's going to be explained more in detail in chapter of uh, hajj inshallah arafa is the ninth of the month of Dhul uh, Hijjah or Dhul Hijjah Dhul Hijjah is the month of Hajj and it's one day uh, before the Eid before what we call the Eid Al-Adha before Eid Al-Adha and it's called the day of Arafah Laysa not it's a negative fi Madhi is pre-seminal fluid pre Seminal fluid. Um, wadi is f cloudy fluid. It's cloudy fluid that comes out after urine. Sometimes a thick cloudy fluid that exits after urine from the genitals, male genitals. Ghusl is a bath or fihima in them is wudu so that's the explanation of the words let's look at the grammar so the grammar sanna this is a past tense verb okay he sanna out of the 14 it's the first one wahid mudhakkar ghaib and the fa'il is a rasul this is mudaf and the word allah is mudaf ilayhi Okay, so Rasulu Allahi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam We've done this before al Ghusla, This is Fatha Because it's the Maf'ul Bihi The object Maf'ul Bihi That this is what is being uh, Set out as a Sunnah Lil Jum'a Lam Harf Al Jar And the Jum'a gets a Kasra because of that Wal Eidain Eidain Okay, the Ataf here Right is being done on the Juma itself. So the Lam is affecting the Eidain as well, and hence it's giving it the state of Jar Eidain instead of Eidan. So normally it would be Al Eidan, but because of the state of Jar Eidain, Ihram as well. This is the Wow Ataf, it goes back to Juma, and so we give Ihrami. Okay, we say Ihrami uh, and Wa'arafa. And Arafa, the wow again, goes back there. So the Araf, the word Arafa, okay, this is a word which is a غير منصرف. Okay, غير منصرف. And as we know, in غير منصرف, it only takes ضمة uh, or فتحة. Okay, no كسرة. No كسرة. And because there's no كسرة, we say uh, عرف ت. Okay, Arafa, that just like in Zufar, previously in the early clips we mentioned the word Zufar, wa inda Zufara. So here, aw khilafan li Zufara. Here, wa Arafa, ta, ta. It's, a, it's in the state of Jar, but it has a Kasra as the Jar. Right, next, Laysa, this is from the Akhkana wa Akhawatuha. So it's going to give the Ism a Rafa and the Khabar a Nasab. Fi 
okay في المذي في المذي and well wow this is the atof so the atof goes on to madhi and so therefore the fi will also be affecting this so wadi okay في المذي والوادي uh, and the word غسل is غسلون why is it غسلون because this is the ism of laysa laysa غسلون في المذي والوادي the ism and then this would be considered the khabar like we're gonna see in a bit وفيهما and in both of them الوضوء okay الوضوء this is uh, in the رفع this is considered to be uh, in the رفع uh, in other words this is a mubtada mu'akhar okay the mubtada mu'akhar okay because of that it's rafa so now let's have a look at the how this sentence works then so we have sanna rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam this is the fi'l this is the fa'il and this is the maf'ul okay so we have the fi'l there we have the fa'il and then we have the maf'ul bihi and we have the harf al-jar all of that is connected and it goes back and it's all connected to one sentence and so we have jumla fi'liya the sentence right, is a jumla fi'liya and then next we have the next sentence which is uh, starts off with laysa fil madhiyya this is the ism of laysa oops Color. So this is the ism of Laysa and fil madhi wal wadi. This is the khabar of Laysa, khabar of Laysa, and then this is the mubtada al wudu, and wa fihima is the khabar again. So we have a, an ism, okay. This is all related, and then this is all related. So we have that, that's the grammar behind this. So now let's look at the lessons that we can learn from this text. Okay, so here what Imam Quduri wants to mention is that there are four times when taking a bath is sunnah. It's considered to be sunnah. And those five four times are uh, for Jum'ah, number one, for Eid, the two Eids, number two, for Ihram, number three, and Finally, for Arafah, which is number four. So there's four times. One, two, three. Four times when it's sunnah to perform a ghusl. One is for the Friday. Okay, the Friday prayers. So on the Friday, you take your bath. And that is considered to be a sunnah, which the Prophet used to do. And on the Eid day, the two Eids. Okay, Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. Both Eids, taking a bath in the morning, is also considered to be something which is Sunnah. And Ihram, when a person wants to go into the state of Ihram, then prior to that, it's Sunnah, the Prophet ﷺ would take a bath. And Arafah on the 9th of uh, Dhul Hajjah, one day before the Eid, when the people, pilgrims, the Hajis, they go to perform the uh, ritual at Arafat. Then for them to perform the bath as well on that day to bathe is also sunnah. So this is the first masla that Imam Quduri wants to mention. Now there's a second masla, okay, which is from here up to here. And this is like kind of finishing off the topic of bathing. And here Imam Quduri wants to mention um, an issue with regards to excretion from the, the, the genitals, okay, from the penis, excretion, which is known as madhi and wadi okay these two what's the ruling of these two if these two were to come out or excreted are they treated like semen in other words does a person have to perform ghusl and bathe if these two were to come out so he says clearly no laysa okay there is no ghusl when it, when any of these two substances or liquids are excreted from the genitals however a person must perform wudu in other words Wudu breaks. Okay, wudu breaks just like wudu breaks when urine comes out of the genitals, the urethra. So, likewise, wudu will break if any one of these two 
uh, fluids were to be excreted from the genitals. So these are the two issues that Imam Quduri wants to mention here. Hope that makes sense. Jazakumullah. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to lesson number 12 of Muqtas al Quduri. Right, let's explain the meanings of the words. So here we have some words At Tahara, it means purity. We've done that before. Ahdath is the plural of Hadath. Okay, which means that which breaks. Okay, the things that break. Wudu. Okay, things that break wudu or which necessitate ghusl. Okay, ghusl is bathing. Things that necessitate wudu or ghusl. It's called a hadath and the plural is ahdath. Ja'izatun, it means permissible. Permissible. Uh, bima is sama is sama means sky sky water in other words rain okay sky water means rain odia it means uh, a ravine or a lake okay lake or yun it means a spring abar it means uh, wells plural of bir okay bir which means well, Bihar, Mal Bihar, water of ocean seas. Okay, what we call oceans or sea. Ocean sea. Right, let me just show you a few examples of of these. Okay, so here is an example of a um, a lake or a odia, call it. Here's an example of springs, spring water, and here's an example of well well spring and uh, lake so these waters are all waters that you can use to purify yourself la tajuz tajuz jaza yajuzu it's from bab jaza yajuzu it means to be permitted to be allowed jaz tahara purity ma means water or tusira this is the Majhul form, the passive form from i'tasara i'tasara i'tasiru oops i'tasiru and this is the majhul form of the past past to be squeezed it means squeeze mina shajar, shajar means tree Wathamar means fruit. Ghalaba. Okay, it's from the verb Ghalaba Yaglibu to become dominant. Ghalaba Yaglibu to become dominant. And it's past tense. Okay, Alayhi uh, Gayruhu. Gayr means other. Akhrajahu. Akhraja Yukhriju. Okay, Bab Ifal. Akhraja. Yukhriju, it means to remove, to take out. Take out. And tab, tab means nature. Tab means nature. Ashriba is the plural of sharab, which means drinks or beverages. Khal means vinegar. Uh, let me show you an example. Of vinegar. Uh, one second, let me just do this first. Marak is soup. Okay, ma al baqilla is water of vegetables, cooked vegetables. Cooked vegetables are called baqilla. Okay, ma al baqilla and ma al ward is rose water. Rose water. Ma al zardaj is saf flower water okay, now what are all these things I'll just I'll give you uh, a few pictures of of these so you can recognize them right so here we have vegetables okay this is the bakilla here we have the soup okay, the marak here we have vinegar uh, oh sorry this not the vinegar this is the vinegar 
and here we have rose water okay so these are things you can't do wudu with all these things you can't do wudu with these things all right so that's the explanation of the words let's look at the nahuna all right so uh, first of all the text is a bit uh, awkward and now it's not really all lined up and the reason for that is because I've copied it and pasted it from a PDF version and you know this was actually on one page and this part was on another page so I've just you know uh, pasted it like that and that you can use that book as well to follow the text uh, and that you'll find uh, you know on the internet you can find it and you can find it I'll try to put it on the the link below as well inshallah anyway what the hard to let's try the Arabic grammar so what the hard to okay this is Dhamma right min al ahdas half al jar okay it's gonna give this a kasra ahdasi so then all of this becomes the mubtada so it becomes the mubtada taharat min al ahdasi and jayzatun becomes the khabar oh well sorry not jayzatun all of this actually so all of this hudu abari wal ulum al bihari that's all the khabar and then this is separate um, so we'll break this down first of all and then we'll look at the rest so Jaizatun this is Jaizatun right because it's the part of the Khabar Ba Harful Jar it's gonna affect it's gonna affect this word Bima'i and then this is Mudaf and this is Mudaf Ilay Bima'i Sama'i Wal Audiyati and then this Ataf over here you have Ataf, you have here Ataf, you have here Ataf and all these uh, all these Atafs, these three uh, actually go back to Sama okay Sama, Sama but this one actually goes all the way back to Ma right, all the way back to Ma so anyway it's gonna have this effect so therefore this can have a kasra, Oyun is gonna have a kasra, Abar is gonna have a kasra, and all these kasras, this one, this one, and this one, are because they are mudaf ilays, treated as mudaf ilays. And this, however, ma e, this is a kasra because of a harf al jar. Okay, harf jar, jar, which is the ba over here, is the reason. And then this is gonna have harf al jar because this is mudaf ilayhi of ma which is a uh, mudaf okay so that's all of that and like I said all of that would be the khabar next wala tajuzu la tajuz this is a uh, present tense present tense did I say last time it was past no if I did say it's not past it's actually present okay this is a present tense present from jaza yajuzu present tense and it's feminine feminine ta feminine and the file is this taharatu this is the file okay so la tajuzu at taharatu b harf al jar so i give this a kasra ma'i bi ma sorry it's actually uh, two two there bi ma'in bi ma'in this is nakira so bi ma'in u'tusira u'tusira this is majusira majhul Right, this is passive, which has been squeezed, water which has been squeezed, and the knife file is hua that goes back to water. Okay, hua that goes back to water. So mina shajari min harful jar and then a samari, this is also her from the ataf, okay, which goes back to shajar and wala and no. Wow, her harf ataf, and this harf ataf, uh, okay, actually goes back to uh, bima'in, all the way up to there, all the way back up to there. Bima'in, so this is ba harf al jar, bima'in, galaba fi'al, madi, past, li ghayruhu, this is the, this is the fa'il, let me change the color so it can be seen clearly. So the غيره غلب على so غيره has dominated عليه upon it. The ضمير in he عليه actually 
goes back to uh, goes back to water bimai ghalaba ghayruhu alayhi fa akhrajahu and so it's taken it out akhraja yukhriju ikhraj to take out akhrajahu this is fi'il madhi and the fa'il is huwa huwa that goes back to ghayruhu it goes back to ghayruhu or well, actually do a different color so it can be seen clearly so it goes back to ghayruhu an harf al jar it's going to give this a kasra and because this is a mudaf al ma'i kasra because this is mudaf ilayhi kaf harf al jar ashribati and this wow okay the, the wow is gonna is gonna uh, out of onto ashriba so the calf is gonna affect that wal maraqi uh, wow wow all these wows right they all go back to uh, ashriba so therefore all of them will have kasras kasra this is a kasra and this is a mudaf as well and this is a mudaf ilayhi and so we have a kasra this is a mudaf this is a mudaf ilayhi this is a mudaf this is a mudaf ilayhi so mudaf this is a mudaf this is a mudaf ilayhi this is a mudaf ilayhi and then all of that okay all of this actually is connected together so this is the the verb la tajuzu la tajuzu and then you have all of this taharatu hajar thamar all of that and then this all goes back and it becomes a jumla fi'liya okay jumla fi'liya there you have one jumla fi'liya there and then here you have jumla ismiya because so we have two big jumlas here one is the ismiya and one is the fi'liya okay so now let's look at the lessons that we can learn from this okay so imam quduri rahimahullah here wants to explain to us those types of water that we're allowed to purify ourselves with our bodies with now what you have to remember before I actually go into this is water okay water is of can be of three types okay water can be najis which means impure water can be tahir which means pure and water can be tahir pure and mutahir purifying okay pure plus purifying okay so what does this mean that just means impure pure means it can be used for drinking purposes or anything like that and tahir mutahir this means that you can use it for wudu or you can use it for ghusl if you want for bathing if you want so here it wants to tell us that these types of water it's going to mention first of all two maslas from here up to here those types of waters which come under this category okay this category okay are all of these tahir they're pure and they're purifying so sky water rain and rain water lake water spring water well water and sea water all of these is five types one two three four five all of these is permissible to perform wudu or ghusl with these four types of five types of water that's the first issue he wants to explain the second is those types of water that you're not allowed to perform wudu with who which no longer remain in this form okay which no longer remain in this form now okay they are actually possibly in this form so this is the second type from here up to here okay Imam Kuduri wants to tell us that these types this type of water 
all these different waters that come under this category are water which are tahir but not necessarily mutahir you can't perform wudu or you can't bathe with them right so what are these types of water so let me just get rid of that so what are these types of water here he mentions several types over here so he says water which has been squeezed out of a tree or fruit so, so any water that has been squeezed out of something okay so this is the first type okay squeezed out of any sort of fruit or vegetable or anything like that you can't use it for purification for wudu number two water which has uh, changed or substance which has changed the nature of water the viscosity of water okay nature here refers to the fluidness the viscosity of water so then he gives a few examples and says if water becomes dominant okay, oh sorry if the ingredient that's added to water غيرهو, becomes dominant over water and then takes it out of its natural the raw nature of water the viscosity of water like for example beverages ashriba drinks or khal vinegar okay this is no longer considered water anymore it's taken out of the nature of water marak soup ma'al vegetables that have been cooked like a broth or a soup that has been cooked ma'al ward rose water and finally uh, uh, safflower water so from the safflower that has been taken out okay all these types of water examples that he's given are all types of uh, water which have been uh, added or things have been added to the water and hence the water no longer remains uh, in its state so like I said that's this type okay, all these come under this type and this is what Imam Quduri wants to explain two maslas over here okay two maslas water that you can perform wudu with okay, which is tahir mutahir all of all this and the second those types of water where something's been added and a change has come to the uh, water either via squeezing this or via changing in its net nature okay hope that makes sense jazakumullah khair